Marie-Josée Hébert et Mélanie Diodé made a discovery that could one day revolutionize organ transplants. These little vesicles contain some enzymatic activity and they can call the immune system uh, that attack the organ after that. About one in ten grafts ends with the rejection of the transplanted organ. The team of shoe researchers identified a new cellular structure responsible for these previously unexplainable rejections. So we discovered new structures, these little vesicles that are being released when the organs that are to be transplanted are, you know, damaged. Um, but we've also discovered this new concept that the organ talks to the immune system. It's not only the immune system of the recipient of the organ who sees the organ as something foreign, it's the organ who shouts to the immune system, hey, I'm here and I may be detrimental to you. And this really what starts this feud between the immune system and the recipient and which may eventually translate into rejection and loss, loss of much needed organs for transplantation. 15 years ago, Sylvain Bédard received a new heart, but his body started reacting against the grafted organ. La découverte de, de l'équipe de Marie-Josée de Mélanie. Euh, pour moi, comme transplanté, qui maintenant je suis en attente d'une seconde transplantation, donc maladie du greffon, c'est pour moi la solution. C'est l'espoir pour moi qu'un jour, la maladie du greffon, ou pour des greffés cardiaques ou pour des greffés rénaux, puisse un jour être soignée, donc euh, augmenter l'espérance de vie des transplantés. We found that um, bortezomib, uh, a drug that is already used in transplantation but not in this setting, is able to um, inhibit this activity and inhibit uh, the fact that these vesicles talk to the immune system and stop the acceleration of rejection. The researchers work with collaborators from the Canadian National Transplant Research Program to better understand the language of organ rejection and test this discovery on humans. The hope is to save organs and lives. This new discovery uh, would help us to uh, first evaluate why in some patients rejection does occur. It could also help us prevent those severe types of rejection. And obviously, with so many patients on the waiting list, one organ that does not work for a long period of time is a wasted organ. So basically optimizing the survival and the functional life of the organ once it's transplanted is something that is of utmost import importance. Mm -hmm.